Hello, what's it again, YouTube, and welcome to another Doctor Who review. But this time, it's not a, it's not some ordinary Doctor Who review. Yes, n not such the awesomeness round table. We can afford the King Art King. Awesome, couldn't afford to get a uh, big table that's uh, square. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> today we are going to discuss the return of the Doctor. This man here. Am I a good man? Well. I'm sure as how this is this is a good episode. Yes, the return of the Doctor onto the screens with the most uninteresting story title ever or episode title. This is <clears throat> by my calculations to be episode eight hundred and uh, there are 13 episodes in, in, uh, in series 8, so that makes, uh, okay, then 13 episodes in series 9, okay, 13 add 13, 6, 26, 826, then add Doctor Mysterio and the pilot, 826, 27, the 828th episode in Doctor Who. I might be miscalculating, maybe it's 829th or 830th episode of Doctor Who, who, who gives a shit? And it has the most uninteresting title, The Pilot. Yes. And Moffat's reasoning for calling it that, uh, it's a pilot to a new show. Yeah. And this is actually good. It's not that, it's not half bad. It's actually better than most of series nine, which is easy to do. I might review series nine, but I'm actually dreading reviewing series nine. I know. Don't look at me, look at the quality of the episodes. You'll see why. Except for except for Sleep No More. I don't get why why it gets all the con Jersey criticism it does actually I think it's really good doesn't deserve hate at all yes but this is a new series with a new companion no more Clara hooray we got not we got a series of Dardo Capaldi as the 12th Doctor and Bill. And my first impressions of Bill is she's a lesbian. Okay, she does have some more depth into in her story. And the uh, Bear Risson and Clara Well, in her first series then Clara in her first series yeah, I don't think companions should be in the TARDIS for just, for that long. It, yeah, the, and we, yes, this, this is what greatness feels like. I feel like that. They did need that break because Moffat was looking. Look, Moffat 
everyone's getting a little bit tired and their creative energy was draining as you can see from the quality of <laughs> series 9 it, it kind of went down the toilet it did and yes this is a Dalek episode it features the Daleks but the Daleks Weirdly for me, I'm usually complaining that the Daleks aren't, that the monsters aren't in the forefront, whilst this episode's main monsters, which are, um, uh, I'm gonna call them, um, Midnight, uh, Midnight Creature and Flood Hybrids. Yes, they're a hybrid between the Midnight Creature from Tenant episode midnight and the the and the and another occupant of Mars the ice warriors no of course not it's the flood from wars of Mars because they're water creatures and they can possess people and But also, they can imitate people's voices. Not in Predator way, but in a way of... Not in the way like they do in Predator, but in the way they do in Midnight, which is imitating what the person is saying. Yeah. And Nardle gets the fifth Doctor's sonic screwdriver, which was blown up by a tech trap. So I assume Capaldi, uh, no, not a tech trap. Get your facts right. A pterodactyl. There's a considerable big difference between a tech trap and a pterodactyl. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe Capaldi. Maybe the Doctor uh, rebuilt the Sonic, and he also rebuilt the fourth Doctor's Sonic. But this time, it it's I thought they were all the same Sonic screwdriver, but apparently they're not. And I think I also saw the eighth Doctor's Sonic screwdriver. Also, she he has a picture of River Song and a picture of uh, Susan. And sh and he's acting like Susan died. Yes, he left her there. But th then he came back in an earthly child. Are they pretending that the expanded universe doesn't exist anymore? Are they? Are they? Yeah, even Big Finish, the one that has... The one that has David freaking Tennant in it. They're pretending like it doesn't exist, like it's not a big deal. But still, st calm down, calm down. He's probably still sad about the events of To The Death. I haven't actually listened to To The Death, I've listened to An Earthly Child, but not To The Death, for some reason. Uh, maybe the reason is I need to, I need to get all of <laughs> I, I, the Lucy Miller era I to listen to that, because it, it's full of continuity and emotional stuff saying that we're going to fuck with you so uh, yes um it, on to capaldi i feel like capaldi's doctor has matured even though he is he's gone back to how he was in series eight a bit of an angry man and it's after he lost a uh, river, isn't it? 
so of course he would be a bit of an angry man, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, and I, he, he felt more mature, like he's, he's there. He's he's now better, and of course the Daleks they they were there. They were very threatening, and we got to see the Movellans again, even though they never their ne their name is never said. Who are those people? It's n that's not important because we haven't established the Movellans in. New Who continuity as uh, Cody W1 would say because he says that New Who and Classic Who are very different entities and he's right quite right yeah but this episode draws it in with the modern sensibilities of today but they wouldn't really get away with a lesbian, like, like they would never get away with a lesbian on a TARDIS, and it's, and they're playing things cool. Like hell, they even went to the Australia for a bit. <laughs> playing Australia cool, that they're, they're, they're known for being, uh, uh, really subtle. Yes, this this story and I'll uh, spoil the ending in this. This is this is spoilers, 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 spoilers. Bill decides to go with the doctor. She's fed up of uh, <clears throat> her job as a chipman and and she sees the opportunity to travel the galaxy to see whatever she wants to see, to go wherever she wants to. She sees that with the dark, with the doctor, and she's seen the monsters that the doctor deals with. She's seen the water menace, the underwater menace. <laughs> episode is one of my guilty pleasures yeah but she still wants to and the doctor sees that and he just like she's just like so amazed that she wants to explore the universe because this is probably the only episode that we're actually going to see her daily life let's 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 be fair none of the stories in in the in the next in the following episodes are set uh in on a in where she lives they're all set Excuse me as I uh, attempt to save this video. They're all in other places that are not modern day, uh, modern day England, which is a good thing, you know. Good on you, BBC. And there's and there's also an episode which I'm there's a story that I'm which I'm excited for, which do. You, which has the middle part is called Extremis. Now it has nothing to do with the story Iron Man storyline that was in. Uh, but I feel like this series is having a more horror tone because some of the bits in here they kind of remind me of horror stories, horror movies like Stephen King's It, and they also actually get me with the jump scares and actually terrify me. I know! New Who uh, scaring me. 
What a surprise. Yeah. This. Yeah. This episode is mass. Is uh, good. And the coming soon trailer shows us the John Sim Master and the John Sim Master. Outside of that revelation, I saw it! And Mondasian Cyberman! Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I can't wear this. I never. I haven't. Wear this in a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've gone insane. What am I doing? My my life masturbating into a stalic. <laughs> I'm like Rich Evans now. I'm an overgrown <laughs> man child with crippling depression and diabetes. <laughs> Uh, uh, next episode, Emoji Bots. Good lord, this is gonna be cringy. But hold on, it's gonna be scary again. Obviously, that, that these guys were in it. Uh, to be fair, what? What? There's one question that wasn't answered in this story. Where were the previous models for the Daleks in this story? Where were they at? Guess they were scared of the Movellans because they, their ass got kicked by them. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I fucking love...